It's Sunday, September 6th, 2020. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I am Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that would make me Gary. Don't hurt nobody with your bad self. Welcome to Comes Out Live, the Bear Podcast, with Determined Length, episode number 568. Uh, and what a month it was. Yeah. This is the month called August. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. But everything it, is it, not it, normal it, right see, now. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I told you. See, if I remember how to do this, I totally forgot. You can't hear a single thing unless I show my thing. So I feel bad. Oh, your screen. I mean, you, you should probably put your pants back on. Um, but wait, wait, that was that was the after show with the power hour. So there's that. Right, yeah. where we had a panic attack because we thought someone's, you know, life mm-hmm. was in danger. But that's that's another story for another time. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I mean, that was part of it. I mean, it was, I, I had happy birthday boo-boos. Uh, I mean, essentially, the, my month was just more of the same. More D&D. Well, yeah. Work. Blah, 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 yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. Except for the last week. Where I'm all excited because it's my birthday. What do we do on my birthday? We drink. In a power hour. And needless to say, we had a really good power hour. I really enjoyed myself. It was very successful. Damon uh, decided to game instead of join his one of his best friends and doing a, a great power hour. Um. Okay, honey. <laughs> Listen, I knew the shade was coming eventually. I just oh wasn't God. sure when I just, I that was know. going to happen. I had made the plans for the game a couple of weeks prior. It's no, you knew exactly when your birthday was. No, I, I knew when your birthday was, but normally we do it either the day before or the day after. It just so happened do, that it was on a Saturday. You know we decided we to do it do on the birthday. We, we usually did that because my birthday didn't land on a weekend. That's nice, dear. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, so because of this, of course, I, we I needed to get some beer. So I I went off, uh, stopped by the supermercado, um, and of course they only have a s- certain selection of beers. Don't worry, it was not all Mexican beers. But I decided, hey, why don't I get a few extra? So I got myself a case of Dos Equis. Not one of the greatest beer. It's serviceable, uh, but that's okay for a power hour. It's probably a good idea. Um, and, uh, as I was walking back, I might have actually, did I tell this like there? I don't remember. As I was walking back. During the power hour? Yes. Yeah. And in any case, I got a boo-boo. I landed on, I, I tripped, fell, uh, actually it's more like lost my balance and fell over. And of course, after the power hour, well, which I perfectly survived all the way through, uh, with barely a buzz, which is kind of disappointing uh i i get up uh to to call my parents because my mom called during the show uh, and uh i immediately like lose my balance again and fall on my ass um as i was doing that i had already asked my phone to call mom and mom was answering the phone so instead of like getting up i just sat there of right course there. the only person even knew that i fell over to begin with, was Damon? <laughs> yes, who had joined um, after his game, while because everyone was still, you know, hanging out and sobering up. I will say, I'm sure there were. I mean, I don't think anyone was really drinking, drinking. Still, maybe AJ, but I don't remember. But anyway, um, but for the most part, you know, everyone was just kind of chilling, and I figured, oh, I joined for a little bit and. You know, hang out, even though it was after show. But you know, it was fun until so, so, until I just disappear <laughs> off screen. I, yeah. I think I muted my mic too. So, yes. Uh, yeah. So I just mm-hmm. disappeared. And so I didn't stand up. 
So explain what happened on your end because I really don't know the full story of it. Well, well, I, every, yeah, everyone but Damon was like, because it was post, like we had finished the whole power hour. So we were on our phones. We were like answering messages. We were doing other stuff, but we were all talking about other things. Yeah. But nobody was watching the room, like all the cams. And that's when David said that you fell down. And of course, at that moment, everyone stops what they're doing and they look, but now we can't see you because you are off camera. I'm literally so... like right here. <laughs> yeah. Just down. But down. <laughs> Right. And um, so I see it first, and it's that awkward moment. Like, I'll put it like this. If you had, like, immediately popped back up, we would have had a good fucking laugh. No one would have, you know, nothing would have been, you know, anything. But even if you had popped up maybe, like, a second or two or, like, 10, 15 seconds later, like, kind of thing or whatever, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But that wasn't but the I case. Didn't. <laughs> No, you didn't. I just sat there talking to my parents. Uh, yes. Uh, kind of laughing to myself because I thought it was funny. Um, yeah. But to the rest of us, <laughs> like yeah. for me, you went down hard. Like, you I went, went it was like whoosh. down. <laughs> yep, you went down. Oh, no. And, I know how whooshy it was. Yeah. And. You know, we're sta we're sitting there, or I'm at least I am, and and I finally everyone is paying attention, and um, you're not getting back up, and there's no indication of anything like moving, like no, your chair didn't move, um, like nothing around, like the there's stuff behind you, I believe, or anything like that. There was no kind of indication that you were leaning on something, or you're trying to get up and couldn't get up, or Anything in Lano's lab that kind of could have given any indication of your status of life. <laughs> and he fell over in his was, head and to get knocked out. <laughs> what happened? That's exactly what I thought. Like you went down because I could, you know, I only saw you go down and you went down close to your desk. There could have been enough force potentially that if you would hit the back of your head with on the desk, you were out, <laughs> mm -hmm. like knocked out, down. And that's where we were. We were kind of just like sitting and standing and watching and waiting and and um, getting. It was getting past that awkward moment of like, oh, it's it's cute and funny and ha ha ha. Like, he fell, like, bitch fell, like, we've, you know, party foul, all that shit. We all know that thing. It was getting past that moment to concern. Um, Gary and I were were looking up your address. <laughs> well, David was looking up your address so he could call 911 for your locality in Texas. I, on the other hand, started calling your phone, like, calling your number just repeatedly. And just like mm -hmm. hanging up when it got to voicemail and calling again, because I was like, I'm gonna annoy the piss out of him and try to like get his like attention, get him to wake <laughs> up something. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course, I was on the phone, so yes. I didn't even know that. Apparently, uh, I'm guessing <laughs> Gary was the one who called me. Oh, Gary was the only one that called you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I probably would have had your number, but I, when Gary was the one that was like, I'm just gonna keep calling them, so. <laughs> And then he finally texted me, and the text popped up on my Apple Watch because I I, I couldn't tell that, that anybody was calling me because I didn't even use my handset at all. I, I just mm -hmm. used my AirPods uh, to call my mom because I could just tell Siri to call my mom. Yes. And it didn't actually do it. Um, <laughs> I was waiting for it to do it. <laughs> yeah, I looked at my phone. And, and then, <laughs> then the text message came up, and, and then I tried just the voice to... I tried answering in uh, the, using the voice to text. I just realized the voice to text is really weird because it says, I'm okay, everything's fine. I just follow and my bye. <laughs> I'm just talking to my parents. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, and, and I but... think there was a couple of times that after that, I, I, I put up my 
my hand as a thumbs up, like everything's okay. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. We did eventually see that. <laughs> eventually. Um, but it's one of those, like, so for so, like, just so everyone's aware, like, he's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. As we're like, you know, and in the moment, like now, I'm I'm gonna laugh yeah, the shit out of it. Yeah, like, that like, yeah, that's a flare. <laughs> yeah, but in the moment, yeah, it was concerned. Scary. Yeah, and, and yeah. I appreciate it. I thank you. But after afterwards, and knowing that everything's fine, it's hilarious. Yeah. So I, don't kids don't do that. If you're on a call and you fall over. And you're okay. You just fell. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe just onto your butt, and you, you maybe a little butt sore. Uh, make some sort of signal to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> to be like, like I'm fine. Everything's okay. <laughs> Pop back up. You're okay. Thumbs up. I'm good. <laughs> if you need help, something like <laughs> like wait, <wave, laughs> like how? <laughs> I don't know. But. <laughs> Try to unmute this thing and say, help! Somebody call Something. 911. Yeah. Anyways, but, hope, but, but everything was fine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, And you guys were up pretty late, too. Because I left to have dinner. It was only like well, 9 or to, 10 or something like that. According Where to Lloyd, it was to start, but yeah. <laughs> so. Well, he's also in the UK. I understand. So we had six hours, or subtract six hours, or five hours. I don't remember what it is. So it's the Eastern time zone. But it's uh, five hours. Five hour, There are five hours ahead. Six to me. Wait. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm assuming when I left, uh, uh, Gary and everybody else stayed for a while. Uh. A little bit, like like some people kind of like you know, had signed off, and actually AJ and I like chatted for a bit. So nice, fun, fun, fun. Five in the morning, Gary. <laughs> for you, it's only eleven o'clock. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like I went to bed at like one in the morning our time. So yeah, mm. but uh, yeah. Woke up yeah. the next day, played some D and D, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Because uh, it was fun. Good. So yeah, uh, uh, my birthday was not a disaster, but it hurt. I still have a, <laughs> I still have a scab uh, over the wound that I got on my knee. On my, mm -hmm. actually, on both my knees, but more on my right knee. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the time, I was still a little bit. If he am balancing on my my uh, right leg, which is probably the reason why he fell over. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I'm much better now, but I still got a scab on that right arm, right leg. So. Anyways, that was me, Damon. Um, let's see. So August was actually a little busy-ish ish for me um uh for the big thing that happened uh, my my brother and sister-in-law came into town and visited for a weekend they didn't stay here um my sister-in-law has friends in Sharonville which is about 20 ish minutes away and um Jim and I went to dinner out to dinner with them twice um once at this really nice place um well not really nice but a, a decent place that um is not a chain and um i really appreciate that they were doing really got a really great job with like the social distancing and everyone was wearing masks and all that fun stuff because the next night um <laughs> uh they wanted steak so we ended up going to like an outback um, up near them and the outback tried at first to do a lot of the social distancing things like there were like there were table separation and there were masks being worn by most of the staff if not all of the staff um but like later on into the evening i get it it was a saturday night but 
the bar was supposed to be closed. Like no one was supposed to be sitting at the bar because, you know, social distancing, COVID, all that stuff. But they started letting people, they started letting people like stand at the bar and get drinks and get food. And I thought at first, because the first couple of people like stood there, placed an order. Once they got the order, they like left. So I'm assuming they like either got it to go or went outside on because it had a little, um, they had a patio area. Mm -hmm. But eventually like people just, just stood there and just stayed there and started drinking and eating and all that stuff. And I was just like, what's the point of having all this if you're not doing that? And then the other big thing, the big thing for me is like they had a big sign on the door like you have to wear a mask in order to enter. And they sat at least two tables by giving them napkins, like the napkins that they used to, you know, for the for their silverware, the wrapper silverware in, and having them place it over their head, their faces. And then they sat down. Not not good, not cute, not really at all. Um, I was glad by that point we were done with our meal, like mostly done with the meal, so we were able to leave. But I was not happy with that. Yeah. Um, uh, other than that, um, as Jeff mentioned, I miss his, um, the power hour because, um, I've been gaming, um, our D and D group has been able to, we've been doing things, um, via, uh, discord, um, for a little while. Um, and it was good. We were finally able, but it's, as I was trying to say, there's seven, I think seven or eight of us all together gaming. Mm -hmm. So get, scheduling things is is complicated. And if everyone's available, then that's when we do it or when the most of us are available. But it just so happened that Saturday, everyone's available. And it just would have been, I think, to me personally, rude to kind of like step away from it when everyone was available. Right, right to do it so um but we're doing really good i'm really happy with what we're doing um and uh, but other than that um the big thing other big thing has happened is i have been doing a lot of youtube um and that's youtube not x to get your minds out of the gutter um <laughs> and, no judgment here <laughs> but one of the biggest things that i've been doing is watching um like Every it was every like eighties or it was eighties at first, but it's I've moved on to the nineties cartoon intros. Oh my uh, gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are some good ones. Like some some like oh shit. Oh, like I know. That I, was a I think that we was a both, cartoon. Did, did, have you seen my link? Mm mm. Not yeah. Yet. Yeah, I, I, I think we were watching the same thing. <laughs> Possibly. But um but on top of the, the the watching every like '90s cartoon intro ever, because it's YouTube, I've also been getting like um, '80s and '90s commercials. That's been fun. Um, this one guy in particular, I don't know. It seems what it seems like to me is he has taken like videos, like maybe like recordings of. 90s television like his like a channel that he was watching like abc and cut out the show like the cartoon like it's, some of these have been like like saturday morning cartoons so he's cut out the cartoon and then left like all the little like eye catches that they make and then the commercials and then they you know come back to the show and then he deletes the show and then they do when they go back to commercials. So it's just been this very interesting thing because I'm getting a lot of like the little, like I said, the little eye catches and the credits for the cartoon that was, he was apparently, he had cut out that you don't see at all. So it feels kind of weird, but it's there, but it's not there. Anyway, so it's been fun. Um, uh, some fun highlights. Um, I had for, forgotten that there was another He-Man cartoon in the 90s. Yep. Yeah, didn't, didn't, forgot all about that shit. 
Um, <laughs> um, they literally made everything into a cartoon in the 90s. Dinosaurs were a huge thing, apparently. <laughs> um, and uh, there was there like everything was pretty much like especially in the nine eighties and nineties specifically, but there was a lot of like this TV this TV this cartoon is a commercial for the toys that you will be buying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that so was both fun. the eighties and the nineties. Oh yeah, for sure. He Man <laughs> mask. Uh, yeah, uh, GI Joe. Except oh I'm yeah, My Little Pony. This was before Friendship is Magic. Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. That's been me, Gary. <laughs> um, August was a busy month for me. Uh, I think I had said, but I don't know, uh, the July recap about my dad having uh, a fall and going to the hospital. And then he went into rehab for a number of weeks, and now he's at another different short-term rehab facility. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I get to find out this week how he's been doing, because the newest facility he went to is very much in a different state and lockdown regarding mm-hmm. um, pandemic, because it is a long-term care facility as opposed to a full-time, like short-stay rehab. So it operates very differently. Um, so I haven't seen him in a few weeks now. Um, so we'll. We'll get a progress report this coming week. but And then work, of course, has been busy, but things have been improving uh, locally for us, especially statewide, like the number of cases for COVID-19 are down. So that's been nice. And people are starting to get a chance to go back to the actual job stuff that they're supposed to do. Um, Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of medical things uh, this month. I um, had a cardiac stress test. Yay. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, that was okay. And I had a colonoscopy in which I got to find out that I um, had no polyps at all. So uh, in 10 years of having multiples, and I mean multiples of colonoscopies, this is the first one where I got a, an A-OK clear bill. And I don't have to have another one done for five years. So um, that's really good news, actually, as a colon cancer survivor. So yay! yay. Um Let's see what else. Uh, I now officially have a CPAP. Yeah. Um, (laughs) So that's been a new experience. Um, And this coming week, although it's the month of September, I go and get my eyes, my peepers examined. Uh, So I'm going to end up with some new glasses soon. I'm probably going to end up with bifocals because I'm fucking old. Uh, You get old eyes, as they say, and so you can't... uh, your eyes just naturally change from the power hour yeah so uh (laughs) pretty busy month and and now that it's actually labor day weekend and it's september i can now recognize that it's september but like the whole last week of august all the way through monday august 31st i was not recognizing that september was about to happen (laughs) or start or anything and so i'm like how the fuck is it september like how the hell are we in the ninth month already like it's it's kind of crazy because uh let's see today's the sixth in a week it will be approximately six months for the u.s dealing with a pandemic in most areas Mm -hmm. so yeah yep 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 that reminds me i did get i also i forgot i went to eye doctor too and got new glasses um, they're they don't they look very similar like this pair and the other pair I got they look very similar to the old pair I got uh, I had before, but it had been three, wait four years maybe, so, but my prescription hadn't changed too much. So, I've had my glasses. I don't even know how long I've had them. Like honestly, I'll have to ask them when I go this week for my exam. Like when. I purchased my glasses through them because I'm going back to my eye doctor that I haven't been to in a number of years. Mm. Um, so I'm going to have an exam. They're probably going to do a glaucoma check. Um, they're going to do all, you know, all the bells and whistles, all that kind of crap. Um, and so I know I'm going to have to get new lenses, probably get new frames um, and all that jazz. So I'll be curious to see how long, because I probably have had these 
glasses and prescription sunglasses that are kind of pretty much matching for, I'm going to say six to seven years. Um, and my prescription hasn't, my prescription honestly has hardly ever changed in my adult life. That's so yeah. I'll be curious to see if my, my long range has really changed at all. I know that my short range is where the bifocal thing comes in, um, is where things are changing. But so yeah, a whole bunch of like things with the new insurance under the new job, even though I got the insurance several months ago, it's taken a while thanks to this thing called the pandemic uh, oh, yeah. to get stuff, you know, squared up and done. So yeah, been busy with that and then took the opportunity since dad was in the facility and I was able to get the time off. Well, kind of, not really. It's a long story. <laughs> um, well, because so I had requested to take Friday off from both jobs. I got declined from both jobs because it's the holiday weekend. And I asked too fucking late because everybody else was already asking. Um, way ahead of time. And that's what irritated me was because I couldn't ask because I didn't expect to be able to get away. And then it occurred to me a couple weeks ago, I was like, oh, I should be able to. So I reached out to Jeff and Ronnie. I was like, hey, are you guys going to be around or would it be okay to come down? So that's what we did. Um, and they've been going through a bunch of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. They've had some pretty serious family things happen um, recently. And so that's been a whole <laughs> like um, bunch of stuff to, to kind of, you know, address. So um, I came down, Drew flew down because he just moved to Michigan back home. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. And, uh, so it's been good to like, you know, hang out and, um, we cooked out yesterday. We grilled on the deck and, uh, played Euchre last night. And then we went to a, a very small, like a uh, birthday party get together. Cause tomorrow is Jeff's birthday. Aww. Um, Happy so birthday, that was, yeah, it was another reason to come down and stuff, but you know, so it's just been kind of, kind of crazy all that. So <laughs> It's been busy, and now it's already September, which means there's only four months left in the year. There's less than two months till the election. Uh, yeah. Vote, vote, vote. Yeah. Agree. Vote early. Make sure that you're registered, and if you have the option to do a mail-in, please do consider it. doing so. Yeah. We just put our um, request for absentee ballots in the mail this weekend. Um. We had been talking about it. We just said, let's just go ahead because let's not wait. And also, let's not, while we would love to vote in person, let's not, let's not, you know, if something potentially happens, you never know because, you know, pandemic, everything's going crazy. Suddenly all this shit happens and, and they shut a whole bunch of stuff down and then you won't be able to vote or you'll have to go to a specific place like they did in Louisville, whatever. Um, and so we're just like, let's just do it and get the absentee vote ballots in and then do it that way. That way we don't have to worry about it um, should the situation, should a situation arise where you can't. Right. And that's the only reason, I will say that now, like for anyone, especially, well, here in the United States, like um, it might be a good idea if you can to go ahead and request an absentee ballot, then to try and see if you can't vote in person. While I respect and understand the desire to vote in person, given everything that's going on this year, I don't want to take a chance. So, right. there you go. Yeah. Hey, guess All what? Right. I think it's time for some feedback. Gary, what's been going on over in the Facebooks? Uh, so we would like to uh, recognize that we got a Facebook comment uh, from a gentleman by the name of Joshua Pangborn for last week's episode 567, Power Hour 8. Had a blast. Happy birthday, Jeff. Aww. Thank Happy you. Thank you for the Power Hour. Yes. So he was actually one of our individuals that was on camera uh, for the 40, so... Yay! Also, over in Instagram land, we got a new follower, A Cruz one nine seven four two one. So, nice. thanks for following us over there, so you know when the shows go up. Yeah. Damon. <laughs> um. So we got a few YouTube subscribers. Um. Christian Payne, 
Taylor Mitcham, or Cham, Mitchum. and Graham McKenzie, or Mitchum, whatever. Anyway, uh, those I, Mitchum, I actually are Graham McKenzie. This, the, those three, I think, are all three part of a Discord that I have just joined called Bear Gamers. Oh. Uh, so I mentioned them. Sweet. Nice. Well, welcome. And we have some comments. Enjoy. From Enjoy. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> do, do, do on um, COL 564, which was our guilty pleasures one, Brady Burtface said, um, sausage rolls and cheese balls, innuendo exempt. Ha! <laughs> 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 um... What it, it you mean any window exempt? I think there was just I, window. Uh, well, I don't know because it was one of our let's talk about food episodes. So I think Bertie was saying innuendo aside, mm -hmm. he likes sausage rolls and cheese balls. Those are his guilty pleasures, even mm -hmm. though they have phallic, like you know, family jewel kind of like recognition shape stuff or whatever you want to ah, say. Gotcha. Similar. There we go. Um, so on COL 565, which was our glory hole safety, King R2K said, this was a pleasure. Yay. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Uh, as far as I know, somebody from <laughs> the Discord. <laughs> that, I believe, is somebody who's in our live chat at this moment. Uh-oh. If I, if I put my things together correctly. And since we're on a delay, it'll take them a moment to probably confirm that, so. <laughs> uh oh Okay. Anyway, um, so on CWL 567, which was the Power Hour 8, Power Hour 8, um, I'm noticing a lot of 40-ish references, by the way. So 8 times 5 is 40. You were drinking Dos Essies beer, which if you had to, it was Dos, Dos Essies, which is 40. Um, sorry. I was a, I was a math There's nerd. For dos, a long time. Dos equis means two X's. Yeah, it's two X's, which total 20. Yeah, totals 20 in, and it's 20, in Roman numerals. Technically, yeah, although technically it's 40, 40 would have been. It wouldn't so be if you had, numerals. right, so if you had two dos equis, then that's 40. I had five. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's... <laughs> I was going to call you a lush, but that was technically accurate given the power hour. So there's that. Goes to 200. So. Which probably you divide by 40. Yeah. Well, 100K. Well, it could be. Anyway. Anyway. Move right along. On. Power hour eight. Owen said, um, just thought about this just now, but like at the ends or when anybody leaves, y'all should do it. Cheers with the shot glasses or the bottles or whatever you have. Always good to send people off. Um, and then it says... And, he, he and then there was a yet. separate comment. Yeah. Comment separately. Oh, okay, good. Ooh, that would have been... Okay. And he says, and now for my rundown of my favorite parts from this video, uh, in no particular order, um, Josh taking his shirt off, Gary taking his shirt off, and in the millisecond of his nipple screen time, wow, ha, ha, ha. Um, Ed showing off his tattoos. They're cool. Also, he has pierced nipples. That's hot. Um, Smashy taking off his pants. I mean, yeah, that was... Oh. Taking off his pants. <laughs> that was hot. Ta taking his pants off. I mean, yeah, yeah that was hot. Um, uh, the birthday he was, bear... He, he also did was taking his pants off, but you couldn't actually see him taking his pants off. Uh, mm -hmm. You just kind of saw his belly take over the screen as he took his pants off, and then he showed that his pants were off. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you didn't watch the video, David. No, I was going. I was watching some of it earlier, and then I fell asleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't because of the content. It hey. was because I got up early this earlier this morning, and I didn't realize how tired I was. Anyways, anyway. that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. The birthday bear taking his shirt off. Yeah, pretty hot. That one time everybody was talking about watches and I made a joke because that was cool. Oh. I have no idea what they're going on, but that's cool. Great. <laughs> um, also for Power Hour 8, uh, Fruit Flake said, y'all all looking cute as hell. He is also some of you from my Discord and is also one of the players of my Saturday game. Nice. Oh. 
Yeah, it was. It was. Um, I caught. Actually, I know. I think I got. To, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll watch it all the way through. I will. I do plan on watching it. It's just, you know, I started watching it and I was like, shit. And we'll get there eventually. The good thing was, the good thing was, um, I had I had paused it. And was looking at something really quickly on my phone. And that little quickly looking at something on my phone turned into a longer thing. And then I ended up falling asleep. That's always. <laughs> You'll be able to pick up where you left off. Of course. Uh, in any case, uh, over in the Twitterverse, we have Belfast Bears, CBB, uh, WBC, Eyes Up 305, Inglewood Joseph, and a Cruise 197421, which sounds very familiar. Yeah, so. our, mm-hmm. our YouTube follower, our Twitter, not Twitter, Instagram follower. Yep. <sighs> so Gary, give us a recap of our shows from last month. Uh, well, in the month of August, we had five Sundays. So uh, the first of the month, we did a What's Going On for the month of July. Then we did our Let's Talk About Food series. We did Guilty Pleasures that we mentioned in the feedback permit. Uh, Let's Talk About Sex was Glory Hole Safety. Um, which I think got us some attention. Uh, people were intrigued by the the idea and the concept. And what has cracked me up is that that very subject has come up this weekend a bunch. <laughs> Not at today's birthday party with straight people, but otherwise. So um, <laughs> it's a thing. Uh, and then we did an episode called Aging Cubs because somebody was having a 40th birthday as the youngest of the three of us. And so we had a discussion about the definition of what a cub is and self-labeling and what all that means in terms of getting older uh, within our community. And then we did the power hour number eight. So yeah, bunch of stuff this month. Yeah, we've done eight of these power hours with the history of uh, the Cubs out loud to uh, second generation. Can you believe it? So I believe we did every year since your 33rd forward right well i think the first power hour wasn't specifically for my birthday it was just the yeah power hour. if i remember oh. I one or two of them were just like we're having a power hour yeah yeah okay. I, th- I think i think the first i think it was just the first one then the others were for my birthday i requested a power hour because it can gotcha. be fun hmm Okay. Now you're making me curious. Now I gotta look back. Looking back. <laughs> so while he's doing that, uh, we're we're gonna get into our our next one, uh, uh, the really fun one. <laughs> I'm going to stop there before we get a copyright uh, claim. <laughs> it's not a strike. It's a claim. There's a difference. Uh, right. So uh, replacing uh, our, uh, I'll tumble for you. We got our tweet tweets. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, Mr. Chunk. Uh, where he says, feeding cheeky. And he's giving this cute little, like, derp face. And, uh, 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 flashing his butt to the mirror in his bathroom. The old uh, bathroom uh, selfie sort of thing. He, yes. He's one of my favorites on Twitter, by the way. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cute, adorable, beefy, chunky. Button, butt, butt, Chunk. button. He's chunky. He's chunky. <laughs> I don't think I've been, follow- I have been following him for a while. He's quite adorbs. And he doesn't, he's not shy either. No, no, definitely not. And he's freckly. <laughs> like, you can't necessarily tell in certain photos, but then in other ones, it's it's nice and clear. So I just put that out for people who like, you know, individuals with freckles on their skin. Yeah. Yes. He's a, yes, he's, huh. yeah, he's cutie for sure. I'm I'm very curious about the arm tat. Like I'm just like I'm 
curious got, if there's a couple or a few kind of yeah yeah I, uh, i'm pretty sure he has, I, has somewhere it, he's more exposed you can see it a little bit better yeah but he's got some thick arms man oh yeah that's maybe why i'm looking at it a lot more because like mm, bitch like look at all that look at all that anyway he's he's definitely thick yep Yep, yep, yep. Damon, what do you got? Um, so I actually do not have, well, I kind of have porn, but it's not really porn. Um, so I think a while back I shared the, a picture of a sexy rugby bear mm. with, his, with his shorts that had been ripped, mm -hmm. uh, like in the middle of a game. Well, someone took that picture and drew it like drew a version of it and here it is like this is russian bear a or like kind of i want to say russian bar uh, uh like bara like bara mm -hmm. uh-huh and he drew this picture of you know the guy um with the rip shorts probably took a couple of i mean there, there was a, it was a video, that's right, if I remember, mm -hmm. of the yes. guy with ripped shorts, yeah. And he was just running around in his underwear. Yeah, for a, for a little bit. Like, he, I think he gets a pair, but, you know, another pair of shorts. But, like, for the briefest of moments, he's, you know, shortless, and he's got these cute pink underwear. Um, noticeable pink um, briefs on that are, you know, cute. And, but, yeah, it's, it's a really, uh -huh. like, fun... Doesn't design. leave much to the imagination either. No, he's also quite thick, and <laughs> especially in the thigh area. <laughs> That's true. Mm hmm. Yeah, his the player's name is Elof Kabus, um, professional rugby player, and he actually does have a a, a Twitter account um, of his own. I'm just like doing a quick scroll through. It's what you would expect for someone who, you know, plays rugby. It's um, stuff, you know, about rugby and sports and things of that nature. So, yeah, pretty cool. Ooh. Okay, Instagram. Someone, someone <laughs> had put a, someone had put a link of the Instagram, and I'm like, um, okay, all right. <laughs> Soccer players got it too. Mm hmm. Or, or as they would say, pretty much everywhere else in the world, football players, footballers. Uh huh. That's actually, what they call them. So, yeah. FYI, um, back to the question about Power Hour. It was just the first one, and every other one since then has been a birthday celebration for Jeff. Okay. Clarification. Yeah. So. For the clarification. So. Seven out of the eight years have been birthday celebrations. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. R. Shit, where did it go? Damn it, I hate closing shit. <laughs> Every fucking time. Anyway, go ahead, Jeff. Gary, 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 Gary. Uh, so I picked one, and it's actually lyrics to a pop song. Um, it says, It's coming down on me. I'm ready. Rain on me which mm -hmm. is from the lady gaga ariana grande song um that you if you watch the vmas you would have seen a fun um mashup of, of several lady gaga songs including part of that but anyways this gentleman who goes by at dan dan daddy by d uh i love how his tagline is just me being thirsty um he is a big boy and he has these amazing photos that he took in a gorgeous slate shower, uh, mm. it's actually a shower stall. Um, and it's fun because people in the comments are like, like, oh my God, I love this. Where is your shower? Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, um, it's the locker room shower. <laughs> 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 and he actually snuck the photos before someone came in. So oh, there's he, also, he also had a video. Yeah. He Here, had here's a, video. a clip till someone walked in the locking room. Yeah. So, yeah, he, um, I just really, really like the fact that it was very, you know, big boy positive and, um, mm -hmm. you know, he's, he is quite a handsome gentleman. And I was like, 
this is this is one of my like like things as a Scorpio as a water sign who like like showers and that kind of stuff. I'm mm-hmm. like this would be a problem for me because if I walked into the gym locker room shower area and you know happened to see Just him, this, you would be this. immediately right. uh, uh charging at him. I don't uh, think closing the curtain. Would you be stripping? Would you need strip, Gary? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, if I'm going into the shower area, I'm probably already just with a, with a towel at mm-hmm. the moment. Um, just drop the, you know. But there. yeah. Oh well, I mean, I would no. You don't drop it on the floor. There's water everywhere. You would hang the towel, <laughs> you know, appropriately, and then I would join him, you know, if that was acceptable, and close the shower, Care and then make sure that he was so. thoroughly cleaned. So, <laughs> got dirty and then got clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, is he oh, sexy? Yeah. Okay. Yes, he is. He's I have to stop white. looking at that. Yeah, don't look at the video, because yeah. Aren't you glad I don't have to share the entire screen? You can, and it would just pop up as as, as see me me look at it. Yeah, that's great. Because <laughs> of course I can look at it on my screen too, but. It's like the first. It's like the first video on his Twitter. So you just have to go there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we're right along. Uh, so you know what David was talking about during his "What's Going On"? Yeah, I think I think this is the channel. It's a uh, Retro Crunch. Uh, yeah, it has an entire it. play li- playlist. Uh, I'm linking to the playlist for the 1980s cartoons, but <laughs> I got it by uh, going down a YouTube rabbit hole of uh, by hitting the 90s cartoons first um but yeah he's got a lot of cool shit and by the way if you actually go to his channel uh he looks kind of cute i think so if it's who yeah if i remember who it is um oh come on i think retro crunch uh Mm -hmm. uh he's uh based off of the i i didn't actually play any of the videos but looking at at when I went to his uh, front page, because I just searched for Retro Crunch to get to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, he, he does some videos where he talks about uh, old stuff or whatever. I'm not exactly sure how this how it all works. <laughs> but uh, I looked at him, and he's got this... He's got this weird... I don't know how to describe this, which is that sounding kind of mean, because he's got this like, he's adorably ugly, if that makes any sense. <laughs> God, <yeah. laughs> like he's got this like really honking nose and uh, and just like, I don't know. I, I don't know. There's just something about him, which for most people wouldn't necessarily look at him and say, Oh my God, he's beautiful. Um, but for some reason it, I, it hits one of my buttons. Yeah. So, uh, he's got this big he's, honking nose. It's, it's cute. He's, it's he's, so adorable. He has that like cute, like, bigger geek you know you know vibe going like older like geeky like cute you know type the little um somewhat patchy at least when some of the things the goatee that's right there yeah just the the chin beard yeah yeah kind of cute yeah i get it i get it yeah okay damon what do you got so during, um, actually earlier today, um, Jim and I, I was doing my UT theme and this one came up in um, my recommended and it was called Unrequited, The History of Queer Baiting. Um, apparently the person who made these, it was originally like a, like a 90 minute, you know, one video like set up, but mm-hmm. um, because of co- people asking for certain content to be taken out, um, he had to re-edit them. So, and instead of putting it all in one, he just did three parts. So there's three parts. I gave you all three parts here. Um, it's a very interesting tale on um, queer coding and queer baiting in um, 
TV and movies and cinema um, and how it was done, like, especially, like, the first one is essentially, like, the, like, pre, like, like, modern. It's very, like, the 20s to, like, now, um, 20s to, like, the 80s uh, or 20s to the 70s, excuse me. Um, and it's essentially all the, like, ways that because while Hollywood was gay, having gay things or actual gay characters and such in movies was a big no-no. Um, how they kind of got past that and to now it's becoming, like with the other two videos, it's becoming a way to kind of draw the queer audiences in. Um, but not necessarily either directly stating it or indirectly like doing it for the sake of having the queer communities make it up like um for a big example uh, one of the ones he uses is um draco and harry potter mm -hmm. while it's nowhere in the books and nowhere really in the movies that kind of became a thing on like the internet so there we go it's a very, it, they're very interesting takes. They're about 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, and we watched it today and I just, I really enjoyed it. So I figured I'd share it with you. Very neato. <laughs> I think it might be up your alley, Gary. And, and okay. again, it is just one person's opinion, but it is, you know, I think it might be something you would be interested in. Comment and check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gary, it looks Gary. like you have a bunch of Netflix stuff. Um, this month I did watch a few things on Netflix. Uh, for those that are not already aware, um, Umbrella Academy Season 2 came out. Um, I enjoyed it greatly. I binged it over two nights, I think. Um, I will say this. If you like the first season, I personally think the second season is better than the first. Because the first had to do a lot of like character building. Mm -hmm. And like world building, and it wasn't that that was difficult, but now that that's over with, the buffoonery and the wild wackiness of what happens in season two is not outlandish. Like you just know that like crazy shit happens, yeah. and you just kind of roll with it. So it's I think it's much easier to accept everything. Um, and then it left sort of a cliffhanger ending. So uh, yeah. my understanding is that there is going to be a season three, possibly a season four. Um, that remains to be seen because Netflix kind of gets a little fickle because um, there are other shows that we have found out that are not returning um, mm -hmm. despite like their endings and stuff. So time will tell. Um, I also watched a, a short series called Unwell. Um, this was based on who was, posted on Twitter that they were watching this. Oh, uh, Q, I think, um, who has been, uh, you know, uh, part of our entourage and and all of that and been a patreon supporter he posted i think that he started watching and he found it very interesting so um i watched it i did like it it's a short series each episode focuses on a particular topic the very first one i think is on essential oils um like their validity if they are are not a thing like the industry um some of that kind of stuff and there's some other ones i think one of the very last episodes is about ayahuasca which uh is a root that can then be converted into a beverage and drunk and it like is you know gives you a major trip some people have like out of body experiences lots of people who are addicted to drugs um might utilize it as a way to help purge themselves um mm -hmm. of their addiction it's been used in that way uh but it's not medically proven mm -hmm. or scientifically study proven so there's a lot of like questionable things about it um so that was kind of an interesting episode and then uh i watched michelle obama's documentary called becoming which has to do with her releasing her book and going on her book tour probably one of the best damn documentaries i have ever seen wow i was so like just brought into this craziness of the world of being like first lady like post the the election she talks a little bit about what it was like um, to be a senator's wife, like to be the wife of Barack Obama before he became a senator, then he became a senator, then he was running for president, then he becomes president. And like, and it was so whirlwind and like all of a sudden 
they are living in the White House and, you know, what that meant and like trying to change the culture of the White House, um, raising two children in it. I mean, just like and having her mom around. I mean, it was just it was so, so good. And I did not get her biography like her book, but I really think I'm going to because um, mm-hmm. I just really enjoyed seeing her it was very uplifting at least for me so i really enjoyed that and then lastly i recently watched another series called connected the hidden science of everything and the gentleman that's the the narrator kind of a a main uh host or whatever i've never heard of him before but it's very intriguing because if you like sciencey kind of shows he basically does i think it's a series of like eight shows or six and every single one of them is about a specific topic and how like they explain things about our world but in ways that you might not know about um so yeah like if you're kind of into that stuff like that's where um like unwell and connected came from so this seems so familiar hold on nice. well go ahead keep going sorry but no it's okay so um i really i really liked just seeing that kind of a series because to me because i don't go to school um currently or anymore i guess however you want to phrase it like that's my way of like self-educating like to do something that you know keeps me um aware and learning different stuff and you know, whether or not it becomes applicable in some fashion at a future point in my life, I don't know. Um, but and, it, and there's one episode that's about numbers. They don't call it numerology, but it's an interesting theorem that can prove uh, fraudulence in social media, in financial reporting, in your taxes – very interesting stuff um mm-hmm. and what i love about it is when the host says like now that i've seen, know that this ex- exists and i see it i feel like i could see it everywhere it's very wild it's kind of like div- like the da vinci code theory thing you know like how you know thing overlaps it anyways uh but like i haven't kind of forgotten because it was really uh, interesting how our number system one through no- zero through nine works and how the frequency of numbers is a predictable thing and you can chart it on a graph and like you can see this to, over and over and over again and it's how they've proven that things are false or you know like financial records of companies are cooked and just it just anyways um <laughs> i really like that one particular episode of the, of the bunch but anyways so yeah like I, so i did end up catching up on a bunch of stuff and then um we'll see what this month has to bring uh so yeah that's that you know Hey, guess what, folks? That's the end. Oh. Mm-hmm. Play with Scott Tech this. You pop over to our website, comesoutloud.com. Shoot us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Leave us a voicemail, sexy or otherwise, at 361-COL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. Even if it's just a quick call to say hello. We're good with that. Plus, the more people use it, the more I don't have to worry about it once a year making sure somebody calls it to, so that we don't lose the number. Uh, you can find us on various social media outlets on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, you can also join our social entourage chat over at tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. Nice, secure, and uh, sometimes has sexy stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, including, um, yeah, anyways, there, there, were, there were things. <laughs> Uh, you can sometimes find out when we're going to be doing these shows by popping over to tinyworld.com slash calendar dash col. You can subscribe to that calendar uh, on your computer and then it can show up on your Google Calendar via phone. And strangely enough, you have to subscribe on your computer by access you be able to see it on any device. Uh, you can uh, also get some merchandise such as I consented my foreplay shirt in five different styles, bear pup, leather uh drag and trans currently i don't know might look into some other ones because there's a lot of flags uh you can find those all at zazzle.com slash cups out loud or there's a v3 shirt like damon's wearing yeah that's our third logo so that's why it's called the v3 uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or if you want to just uh, send us some cash to help us improve our production, uh, you can do do that at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. You can uh, rate us on Apple Podcasts, subscribe to us at Google Play Podcasts, and over on Spotify, 
watch out for Amazon Prime and uh, Amazon and Audible. They think they're still working on something. I, I know I submitted <laughs> us, but haven't really heard how that all is working quite yet. But hopefully we'll have that soon. You can find me anywhere in the internet as Box at Box Puppy, Box Cub, Box something or other, as well as Windjam on uh, Twitch. You can subscribe to me over there where you will see us stream uh, the Bears and Dragons show, which come, ends up going directly to YouTube afterwards. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I made a boo-boo and didn't bring us back from from break when we came back from break. And then I like, suddenly noticed I didn't do that, so I switched us. So <laughs> made a boo-boo today on today's recording, so sorry about that. But it's there. It's also live on our YouTube channel. So you, you can now watch the, the VOD. Um, my players uh, hatch dragons. What do you know? Anyways. Dan? If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as TheaterCub79 on most bear-related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. And that is definitely not safe for work. Gary. My bad. I muted myself for a second. Uh, so I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Nobody can hear anything. As I was saying, uh, <laughs> if you would like to get in touch with me online, you can pretty much find me anywhere as Gary73. If you want to follow my uh, Tumblr replacement account, aka Bored, um, it would be G A R B E A R 73XXX. Nice. Uh, and I, with that, I think it's a uh, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.